Hmm, I wonder what the weather is today. Seems like a nice day outside. Oh, dang it. I guess I'll just have to go on the web. Uh, really wish I had a weather application. Hey everyone, and welcome back to today's video on Byte of Linux. So in this video, I'll be showing you the top three weather applications for Linux. So there are some pretty good ones available for Windows and Mac OS, but there aren't too many options for Linux. But luckily, some of the ones that are available are very professional, good looking, and easy to use. So I'll be showing you how to download them, install them, and configure them to your needs. So let's get started. So the first application on this list is called Temps. So what you want to do is open up a web browser, I'll be using Firefox in this video, and go to the URL github.com slash jackd248 slash temps. And this will bring you to the temps github homepage. And if you click on this link at the top, you will have their more stylish homepage, which gives you some more information and some beautiful screenshots. But if you go back over to the GitHub page and scroll down, you can click on the download link, which is under the download section. And here we have all of the releases. So this is actually also available on Windows and Mac OS, stated right here. And it shows you the new features and updates that were introduced with every version. So I'm just going to download the 64-bit Linux version and save file. Once it's downloaded, you can just open that up, extract it, go into the folder, and simply run the temps application. So you can execute that. And when you do that, you can see that a new window pops up over here. And this is the application itself. So we have the weather up here at the top, the condition, and we have a nice icon here. And then below it, we have the date the location, and then our daily weather. So if you click on one of them, you can see a graph, and if you hover along the line, you can see the temperature for that time of day, which I think is really handy. Now, if you click these two dots, or sorry, two lines at the top here, you have your settings. So from here, you can enter in your information, so I can just change this very easily. And if you click this icon right here, it will bring up your current location. Now, here, you need to input your API key. So here it's stated that it automatically comes with one, but if you want to be using this all the time, make sure to get your own weather key. So now you've noticed that when I clicked out of it, it actually disappeared. And it's now in the bar down here. So if I click on the weather icon, it will bring up the application again. So let's check out some of the other settings. We have our temperature scales, you can just switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now you can choose to show your weather in the menu bar. So to uncheck that, you can see that it will disappear when I apply them. And you can also set the color of it in case you have a different colored bar. So if I set this to black, it will show up as black. And then you can run it when you log in, and you can also change the time format. Just make sure to apply your settings when you have selected them. Now if you just want to run this on your desktop, then you can just simply create a shortcut to this application. And that's very handy if you just want to quickly run it. And finally, if you want to fully exit out of the application, you can click on the settings icon and then click quit and you're done. So overall, very beautifully designed. The interface is very easy to use and I like their animations a lot. Now the next application on this list is called Cumulus and it is very similar to the last application in that it's designed very well. So you can open up a web browser and go to the URL kd8bny.github.io slash cumulus. Now it will bring you to the Qt application by default, so if you are running KDE or LXQT or something like that, then you should follow the instructions right here, but if you're running GTK, then click original cumulus right here, it's a link, and you can just run these commands if you're on Ubuntu, so open up a terminal and run this, and just click enter, and then run sudo apt-get update and finally you can run sudo apt-get install cumulus so once all that is done 
You can simply tap Cumulus in your keyboard or load it up from the application launcher, doesn't matter. Hit enter, and here is the application itself. So, you can see here at the top there's a location, then an icon representing the weather condition, then your actual temperatures, then below it on the bottom you have your temperatures for each day of the week and their conditions. Now, if you click on this little settings gear at the top, you have your settings. So here you can enter in a location, and if it has a check, then you can just hit that and it'll bring you to that location. You also have your units of measurement. You can set Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin, all that kind of stuff. And below that, you can actually set the colors of the application, which is really nice. So you have color ranging from purple to green, everything in between. Next, you have your API selection. You have two choices, Yahoo and Open Weather Map. Then you have Show Launcher Count. And then finally, you have Opacity. So if you want it to be fully transparent, you can bring it all the way down. And if you want it to be fully, fully opaque, then bring it all the way to the right. So let me click the check mark here and go back into the settings. And here it is. So as you can see, you can really see all your weather conditions and if you actually click on this location it will bring you to the full weather analysis of that location so one thing that is very good about this is that it looks very beautiful it doesn't have too many features and it doesn't show too much information but if you just want to quickly check the weather this is really great okay everyone the final application on this list is the gnome weather app now if you're running the gnome shell you might already have it pre-installed, and if that's the case, you can just skip to the end of the video. But if that's not the case, then you might want to check this out. So, it's likely that it's already in your software center, so make sure to check that. But if it's not, you can easily install it through a tool called Flatpak. So, navigate to flatpak.org on a web browser. Click on Get Flatpak, and run the commands for your distribution. So once you have that installed, you want to click on Applications, and you can download it by scrolling down to GNOME Stable Apps and downloading this. But you can just easily install it through the command line. So just scroll down to Weather, which should be right here, and then run these commands. So open up a terminal and run this, and click Y, enter your password, and if it asks for any dependencies, just click Y. So once all that is installed, you can run the second command, which is flatpak run org.gnome.weather, and it should bring up the application itself. So when you first boot it up, it will ask you to enter in your location, but I've already done it. So here is the main screen. Now, in the center here, you have your weather, temperature, and your conditions, and below that, you have two tabs, today and tomorrow, and underneath that, you can see the exact weather for each time of day. Now on the side here, you have your time and weather conditions and temperatures for each day of the week. If you go over all the way to the left here, you have a places button, and if you click on that, you can add a new location. So if you just add like that and click enter, it will bring up that location. And you can easily switch between all your locations by clicking on places again and just clicking on your location. And if you want your current location, you can select automatic location. So this weather app doesn't look as good as some of the other ones, but it does provide a lot of information. And I like how they show you a picture in the background of the condition. Okay, everyone, that's about it for this video. Make sure to install some of these applications on your Linux computer because it can always be a hassle to go to a web browser and look it up that way. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Linux videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.